we are finally putting in our mattress on our bed. It has been long overdue, but one of the reasons is because we wanted to make sure we had the right mattress for our tiny home. And that mattress is Koala. We are moving on to what some consider the most important part of any home, the bedroom. If you're new here, welcome to our channel. We are James and Alex, full-time travelers and adventurers. Before COVID hit, we were traveling internationally and then decided it was time to bring forward our dream of road tripping around Australia. In our last few vlogs, we introduced you to our new bus, Naya, a 1995 Toyota Coaster. And with no previous build experience, we've begun converting her into our dream home on wheels. It goes to show we do not know what we're doing. <laughs> In today's vlog, things really start to get exciting. We finally build our bed structure. In my bed! Yes! yes! We cover everything from what materials we used, DIY under bed storage, and of course, what mattress we went for. We can comfortably say, excuse the pun, it is the best decision we could have made for a mattress. So let's get started. Oh, it's so comfortable. <laughs> we are going to attempt to make our bed out of aluminium. So I feel like this is probably the most nerve wracking part of the build so far, purely because of the material that we're using. The majority of our build is wood and this is the first time we're going to be using aluminium. From what we understand and how aluminium works, I think we just need to be a bit more accurate with our measurements. So we've measured, measured again and measured again just to be as 100% sure as we can be because we really don't want to mess this up. You're getting a bit good at that now. Honestly, once you know how to do it, slices like a hot knife in butter. Is that our first leg? Nearly there. One more. <laughs> If I lift these pipes up, can you come it's here? It's going to be a tight squeeze because it has to be, like, it has to be perfect. Should have built it in here. We should have built it in here, yeah. And we're doing the build, build the bed inside. It goes to show we do not know what we're doing. <laughs> All right, so we've now taken it semi apart. We're going to bring it back into the bus and see if that makes any difference. Line it up and then hammer it together somehow. Which way would you like to hammer that in? There or here? I made it nice and snug, I'll tell you that. This is the hardest bit of the whole thing. Oh, how are you going to hammer it in? <laughs> oh my god. I would do, yeah. It's off by like a fair bit. This is a nightmare. Only other thing we do is I cut it, I use an angle grinder in here. And then we get a connector in the middle, make it smaller. I think <gasps> it might fit. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> we did oh it! We, we did have it. a bed frame! We have a bed frame. Oh wait, we've got to put the legs on yet. Alright, let's put the legs on now. We finally have a bed frame. So, um, it took us a lot longer to actually put this in, in terms of the start of the build to where we are now. Cutting aluminium with the angle grinder was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. These connectors have worked a real treat. Aluminium really is a hell of a lot lighter and we're definitely now going to use it for the front section of the bus. And yeah. James, cutting that down, I'm so impressed. You've never done it before and never. I'm just like, wow. I'm in awe. Practice makes perfect. I mean, ours is by no means perfect, but it works and that's really all we need. <laughs> Practice makes an okay job, basically, <laughs> what Alex trying to say. So we are finally getting to the point of apparently Alex putting her ponytail up. 
<laughs> I didn't know you were filming. <laughs> so we are finally getting to the point where we are finishing off our bed. Now you might think, why are we making holes in the actual bed frame? Now the reason why we're doing that is because apparently it does help with moisture and damp. So by creating holes inside the actual timber that will sit beneath our mattress, we are doing ourselves a favor. And we're making, well, what we think is enough holes in our timber. We're then going around and sanding all the edges down to make sure it's nice and smooth. And then we'll start thinking about actually fixing some of these down into the actual aluminium itself and perhaps even putting on some piano hinges and maybe some small hinges for the ones we want to actually hinge open. It looks like a big dice <laughs> and you just rolled a five. <laughs> and the reason why I'm not lifting this is because I've actually pulled a muscle in my back. Well, and I'm strong as well, I can handle it. Can't Hold on, it's a bit dark in here, wait a minute. Ah! Hold on, there's not enough light on you. Ah! Okay. Sweet! That's good. Looking good. I am going to install the gas struts to our bed frame. Never done it before. All I'm going off is a YouTube tutorial or numerous YouTube tutorials and how to actually do it. You have to work out the amount of weight that the gas trucks are going to be lifting. So I figured out I'm going to be lifting about anywhere between 30 to 40 kilos. So these are the two gas trucks that I got off eBay. So it says here strut force gas strut 316 which stands for in millimeters the length. And then you've got 200 n. So 200 n equates to 20 kilos. We'll see how we go. So I've just cut this down using a circular saw. I've gone 150 from the end. Now I don't know if that's again correct, but it's what I thought was enough to allow me a big enough opening of the bed with the mattress on top. I've now got my piano hinge, which I'm going to place here. And then that way it's going to hinge open and that should be good to go. Yay! Hinges! So I'm currently under the bed and I'm relying on this one piece of shiplap to not buckle otherwise I'm going to have a very sore head like so Oh, oh, oh. Yes! Oh. Ah! <laughs> it's so good. good work. It's amazing. Well done. Brendan, solar panel. Yeah, we've got a koala match here. Yes. That came okay. so quick. Oh, all right, so it really isn't an easy way to put this in for us. However, we've come up with a plan. We're hoping, we're hoping this will work. I'm so excited. We're to finally sleep in the past. <laughs> Woo! All right, that's, that's there. We can get rid of this now. And we have Georgia and Harry helping with the unboxing as well. And I think we have found a koala, which Georgia is going to have. Here it comes, oh, it. here it comes. Ah, Yay! Koala! A little koala. Oh, <laughs> What are we going to call him? Koala. <laughs> the koala bear. Kevin. Kevin? Kevin the koala. He's a bit, he's a bit squished. <laughs> Maybe Harry can look after Kevin the koala. You want to look after him for a bit? Ah! Uh, uh, you look after Kevin. <laughs> he likes him. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you'll find me for the next few hours. <sighs> oh, so comfy! It's actually legit so comfy. <laughs> you wanna try? Hold on. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, it's so comfortable. Good night. You want to come try, Harry? Harry wants to try. And <laughs> he's reaching for it. <gasps> Yay! Look how comfortable it is. Yay! Get in the koala. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two pillows. Two pillows. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> that is amazing. Whoa! Another delivery. <laughs> we have bed living and a duvet. Yeah. Voila! Pillow. Chatting! One pillow done. So we're finally getting round to prepping the last few bits of our, what should I say? So the reason why we chose the alley minute, so the reason why we, so the reason, it looks pretty good to me. Oh, I've got a spider on me. Okay guys. Okay guys. There's no way that it's coming out. Oh, it's so hot. To be honest, it was just the fact that, to be honest, it was a fact that, to be honest. Like I said before, we've been mainly, like I said before, we've mainly used wood throughout the most of this build. Yeah. Like I said before, we've mainly, <laughs> ah! We have a bed. Nice bum. <laughs> I just realised I had a lot of food in my mouth. I do apologise. <laughs> <laughs>